attacked on stage while performing at the Hollywood Bowl. The suspect was reportedly armed with a gun and a knife. Kaylee Hartung is there with the latest. Good morning, Kaylee. Good morning, George. Dave Chappelle has been known to stir up controversy, but this chaotic scene was not meant to be a part of his show. Walking into the Hollywood Bowl last night, you were supposed to check your cell phone, but of course, some made it in and captured this shocking attack on Dave Chappelle. History. Overnight superstar comedian Dave Chappelle tackled on... Okay, you would think that they would come back and show, like, the actual video, like, show the video instead of freezing it here. I don't know what the purpose is of freezing it here. There's, again, there's way more to this story than they're telling us. Um, I don't understand why pausing it here uh, is necessary, what it accomplishes. Um, the guy's already on his way to the ground. Uh, I don't even know if Dave Chappelle fell. Are they trying to show, are they trying not to show Dave Chappelle hit the ground? What is the reason for pausing this? On stage in the middle of a performance at the Hollywood Bowl. One of Hollywood, Highland Avenue at the Hollywood Bowl. Suspect was armed with a gun and a knife and by for additional. Subjects to no black ten, Virginia, five years years wearing a black hat, blue flannel, gray pants. According to the LAPD, the assailant. See that? All through this video, they keep showing that right there and it pauses before the guy lands on the stage why now a funny thing that happens later uh, apparently uh chris rock was there and he asked was that will smith that's freaking funny but uh here's the thing people were supposed to check their cell phones and some of course got smuggled in that's obvious okay how did the guy get in with something that looked like a gun and that was reported to have a gun and a knife how do you get into a concert venue where everyone's going through metal detectors and having to take everything out of their pockets? Nowadays at concerts, they do it just like TSA. Okay, I know we just had the shoot. Well, it wasn't a shooting. What was what was it at the uh, Travis um, Scott concert? Oh, that was people getting trampled to death. Was, there, was that a shooting? I can't even remember. I think it was just people getting trampled because someone started shooting, right? I don't know. But anyway, so I'm not saying it's impossible to get a gun into a concert. But how do you get that into a, in a large venue like Hollywood Bowl? They have money in California, okay, for big events like this, concerts and whatnot. Um, I know the state itself is broke, but when it comes to entertainment, these companies spend a lot of money on security. Okay, metal detectors. Uh, I think some of them even use body scanners like TSA uses at the airport. So how does this guy get in, and then how does he get packed get past the big line of security that usually stands out in front of a stage. They have people separated and they have security. So the way we used to do it is there'd be a, there'd be a gate keeping people back and then over that gate was not immediate access to the talent on stage. There was, a, there was an opening there. There was an area in between there and we would have security staggered all in there to catch anybody who jumps over that first fence. Then you got to make it over the second fence. And over the second fence, there's even more security and the personal security and bouncers for the person who's uh, performing. So I just don't see how this guy, A, made it into the venue with a knife slash gun or gun slash knife. Okay. B, got over the fence, over the gates, and got up onto the stage. And C, of course, was able to attack um, Dave Chappelle. I can't remember what letter I'm on. D... They never show the guy's face. They say his name. They never show his face. And maybe that is why this thing pauses. Okay? I smell an inside job. That's all I'm trying to say. It's just my opinion. I smell something very fishy. Okay? It's either staged to draw more attention, okay, to this event and get everybody talking about it because they were so successful with the Will Smith slap. Whether it was intentional or not, I don't think that it was. I think Will Smith really did lose his shit and get up on stage and smack Chris Rock. But the ratings that they got from it, I believe that they realized, whoa, we can get ratings if we have violence occur at our events. Okay, Chris Rock is there. Uh, Jamie Foxx is there. Jon Stewart is there. Dave Chappelle are there. These guys aren't huge names. Chris Rock is well known. So is Dave Chappelle. I know it drew a large crowd, but these guys aren't like, you know, like, you know what I mean? They're not in center stage right now. These guys have mostly had their careers 
Um, they're still involved. They're still doing things. I think they've got a Netflix special, so that's good. But Netflix is known to be failing right now. Netflix is not doing very well. Their ratings are going through the toilet. They've lost millions of subscribers because of some controversial content that they've allowed onto their platform. So all that to say that I, I, I smell something fishy here. Aaron, who was in the audience, carried a knife that looked like a gun, climbed onto the stage and attacked Chappelle in the middle of his set. The man then ran behind a screen on stage. Chappelle reported to the audience the man was being stomped. The suspect was immediately detained by the venue's security team and later taken to the hospital with superficial injuries. They never show his face. They show him with his face up against the wall, then they show him on a stretcher with his face blurred out. Why are we blurring out the criminal's face? What? Since when do you blur out a criminal's face? You can blur out a victim's face. Why do you blur out the criminal's face? It doesn't make sense. It stinks to the high heavens. ABC News has learned Chris Rock, who performed earlier in the night, came back on stage with Chappelle moments after the attack and joked, was that Will Smith? Referencing the infamous slap he received from the movie star on Oscar night. Chappelle and Rock were performing in the comedy showcase Netflix is a Joke, the festival. Chappelle was able to continue with the show without injury. The LAPD identifying the suspect arrested as 23-year-old Isaiah Lee. He's being held on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon, with bail set at $30,000. And a star-studded crowd witnessed this. In addition to Chris Rock, Jon Stewart was also performing, and Jamie Foxx was there too. Fox actually running on stage to help security stop the attacker. After the show, Dave Chappelle thanked Fox, and Fox said of Chappelle, we must protect him at all costs. That's a what? That's a weird statement. That's bizarre. Uh, anyway, I'm just saying, guys, um, it's 3 a.m. where I'm at. <laughs> I could just be loopy and, uh, and, and an insomniac, but... Uh, I saw this story and something just doesn't feel right about it. You know when like a used car salesman is trying to tell you how good this piece of crap car is that he wants to sell you and you just have a funny feeling that although the car looks good and the price is cheap and you even test drive it and it seems okay, you just have this nagging feeling like this guy is lying to me. He's pulling a fast one. There's something about this car that I just, I don't have a piece about it. I, I feel like I'm getting what I'm going to pay for, or I'm, I'm about to get what I'm willing to pay for this thing. You know, there's no way I can be getting a super nice car for $1,500 or 2000 So, anyway, just my opinion. 